Hello guys, this is Brad and Grant from Nirvana. Yo. And we are on our way to look at a collection. From what we've been told, it is about 25 long boxes. We have already received one of the books, which is a pretty nice copy of Amazing Spider-Man 129, first appearance of Punisher. We think that it would probably come back as about a 6.5 or 7-ish, but that's all we know so far. McKay went and looked at it, and he said he only got to go through about seven boxes, so Grant and I are going to check out the rest and bring it back to the shop to unload and go through. So you guys will see some of that here in just a bit. Grant, you got anything to say to the uh, yeah, viewers so out there? Yeah, so this is, um, they actually want us to bring it back to the shop to look through, and that's always great when uh, someone's willing to you know, work with you on a collection. Um, this is one of those situations too where it's coming from a deceased family member, so uh, this is the one part of the job that isn't so fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, and of course, because it's a little bit of a drive, getting a collection like this back to the shop can be a little uh, difficult. So that's why we rented this van. Oh yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, this is the second time. No, we are van. not in a police van no, as this not, case. Not yet. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the week is just starting, so yeah. we'll see. We um, shall see. Yeah, we really need to get a Nirvana van, but. Yeah, so we'll see how this goes. All right, guys, we'll see you in a bit. Let's get down to what you guys are really here for, and that's to look at some keys, because I know how much you guys enjoy that. So we'll get started with some smaller stuff, and we will gradually pick up, because a boy does it pick up pretty quick. So first off, let's show you this Amazing Spider-Man 569. This is the first appearance of Anti-Venom, which if you've seen the popcorn buckets from, I guess it's uh, Cinema, no, no, not Cinemax, Cinemark. Uh, looks like we might be getting a uh, anti-venom in the new Venom movie. So, there we go. Awesome key. We've also got a giant size Spider-Man number four featuring the Punisher. I've always thought of this as the third appearance of Punisher. I'm pretty sure it is, but either way, nice looking book there. We'll swiftly jump over to X-Men Annual Number 14. First appearance of Gambit. And we've got an X-Men 121. First full appearance of Alpha Flight. We've got a few more X-Men here. 135. Got a 134. We've also got a one. 33, first solo Wolverine story there. You've got a 244, first appearance of Jubilee. And we actually got two of these in the collection. First appearance of Squirrel Girl in the Marvel Superheroes Winter Special, number eight. Let's see what else we got. So we'll start with this little stack right here. We got a full run of G.I. Joe's in. So here's the one. And then the 155. Full complete run. Guys, we got a ton of full runs in this collection. So those we will more than likely be selling as a complete run. 
We've got a web of Spider-Man 118. First appearance of Scarlet Spider. Here's that other first Squirrel Girl. ASM 301, the homage to 300. Then we've got an Iron Man 282. First full, full War Machine. We've got Incredible Hulk 340. Godzilla number one. Hulk number one, the first appearance of Red Hulk on the cover. His actual first full appearance is number two. Iron Fist number one. Man Thing number one. Marvel Comics presents 72. Marvel Point One. That is the first Sam Alexander as Nova. Moon Knight number one. We've got a Miss Marvel number one. Miss Marvel 18. First full Mystique. We've got a full run of that. Nova number one. We've got a full run of that. We got one, two, three, four, and five. The Punisher, the limited series. We've got a Punisher number one from the unlimited or ongoing series. ASM 129, first full appearance of Punisher. We've got a spectacular Spider Man number one. Spectacular Spider-Man 64, first cloak and dagger. ASM 194, first black cat. Then we got an ASM 210, first appearance of Madam Web. My, has that book fallen. We've also got an ASM 238, first full appearance of Hobgoblin. Tattoos are included in that bad boy. We've got a Secret Wars number eight. We've also got the full run of that. Next up, we've got an ASM 252, newsstand. Marvel Team Up 141, newsstand. We've got ASM. 298, 299, and 300. ASM 316. First full cover appearance of Venom. ASM, what was that? 246. Awesome Larson. And then 247. ASM 361, first full appearance of Carnage. ASM 36, the 9-11 tribute issue. Very nice looking book. ASM 4, first full appearance of Silk. ASM number 10, first appearance of Spider-Punk. And then we've got a Wolverine number one, uh, first unlimited series. First appearance of Patch. Next up, we've got Wolverine number eight. Then first cameo of Alpha Flight in X-Men 120. X-Men 129, first appearance of Kitty Pride, and if I'm not mistaken, also Emma Frost? I think I'm right. I know there's a, uh, a couple things on that one. Me and my X-Men keys, I try. Uh, Uncanny X-Men 130, first appearance of Dazzler. X-Men 131. 
beautiful Emma Frost cover. Then we've got X Men 141 and 142. Days of Future Past storyline. X Men 221, first full appearance of Sinister. Then we got the hot book a couple of months ago. Beautiful Mark Silvestri cover. X Men 251. First full appearance of Rogue in Avengers Annual 10. First full appearance of Gambit in X-Men 266. We've got a first appearance of Cable in New Mutants 87. First appearance of Deadpool in New Mutants 98, we got a full run of New Mutants. Got Marvel Spotlight 32, first appearance of Spider-Woman. Then we've got the Savage She-Hulk number one, first appearance of She-Hulk. Next up, we've got a Sensational She-Hulk number one. Classic cover. Sensational She-Hulk 34. Classic cover. Spider-Woman number one. We've got the full run of Wolverine Limited Series. Got a full run of Star Wars in also. So we got Star Wars 1, 42, 68, then 107, the hard to find last issue. Then we have got Thor 337. First appearance of Beta Ray Bill. And guys, last one that I'm going to show you from that collection will be Werewolf by Night 32. Let's get that right there. All right, guys, and we had a Golden Age collection come in as we were processing that. So we decided we'll just lump it all in together and put it all out at once for the Mark Spear signing. So we're going to run through these real quick and show you what we got. First up is the Apache Kid. This is Apache Kid number one. Then I've got a Strange Mysteries number three. Adventures into the Unknown 24. Adventures into the Unknown 25. Then Adventures into the Unknown 26. Next up, we've got Kid Cult number nine. Early, early Kid Cult. Venture Comics 167. Then Adventure Comics 185. We got some Marvel, Marvel family in this. Marvel Family 47. Feature Films Magazine at number three, The Eagle and the Hawk. It's got a little value to it. The Quest of Zorro. Got War Stories. I believe it's number three. I'll have to double check that, but I believe that is what it was. Early Phantom cover in Ace Comics 149. Wiz Comics 131. Awesome dinosaur cover there. Freelance 32. Looks got some value to it right there. Got another go. Adventures into the Unknown 29. Oh. 
Captain Marvel 114. Batman number 36. Detective Comics 162. Detective Comics 177. Detective Comics 176. Batman 74. And an awesome Action Comics 105, Superman and Santa. We've got a Jumbo Comics 86. Super Mystery Comics. I cannot remember the number on that one, so I'll flash it up here somewhere. I believe it's number four. But awesome book right there. We've got a Batman... 68. Don't come looking for that one. That one's mine. Attack on Planet Mars. No number. Beautiful Schomburg cover for Thrilling Comics. Thrilling Comics 62. This Doesn't have the number on it, but GI in Battle. Then, got a Venus, 14. Venus, 15. Then a Planet Comics, 65. Now, a lot of these we are not going to send off to get graded, but I think we're going to send these off to get encapsulated by CGC, those hold a very nice value. And also, if you haven't seen on one of our latest live streams, I showed off some of the awesome books that we got back from CGC from the Golden Age collection that we got in about three months ago. So I will show those to you guys. This is Adventures into the Unknown 49, double cover. Is graded at a 4.5. The first cover got a 3.0, and, and the interior cover got a 4.5. Awesome book. Then we also got an Out of the Night number five, double cover. That is graded at a 5.0. The first cover got a 4.0, and the interior cover got the 5.0. Next up, we've got a Menace number five. This is the origin and first appearance of Zombie Simon William Garth. It is missing a coupon on the 16th page. It does not affect the story. Got that in the 1.5. Tough, tough. <laughs> then we've got a Blue Bolt number 112. Classic. L.B. Cole cover right there. Guys, this was not cleaned and pressed before we sent it off. And uh, if it doesn't sell soon, I am going to crack it out and clean it and press it myself. It's got a little spine roll on it, but uh, from what I can remember going through all the notes, nothing was detached, not at the centerfold. There's no rips in the spine that should cause any uh, cause for concern in uh, flattening this bad boy out and uh, fixing that, that little spine roll. So, if it doesn't go soon, cracking it out. And then last, but certainly not least, we've got Blue Bolt 114. Another classic LB Cole cover at a 4.0. So guys, that is pretty much everything we've gotten in that, uh, is uh, on the high value side. Uh, so yeah, guys, most of this will be up uh, in our store on August 5th. Like I said, you're probably watching this afterwards. Should have done this before, but we didn't process that collection and get this Golden Age collection in until uh, probably about a day or two ago. And I had to get ready for whatnot shows. So guys, if you see anything that you are interested in, please give us a call or hit us up over whatnot email. 
and uh, we'll see if we still have these available for you going forward. Don't forget, guys, we've got Mark Spears Monsters, our store exclusive, available on our website, in-store, on, um, on Whatnot. So hit us up there, $20. And I go live on Whatnot every Sunday night at 9, uh, Wednesday afternoon at usually 4 o'clock. Sometimes it's 2, but most of the time it's 4 o'clock. And then Fridays at 2. So be sure to give us a follow over there. Come have some fun with us. People are getting killer deals. And uh, we will see you all very, very soon. Have a good night.